Rocking with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy, Silk D O Double G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh my God, it just hit me. <laughs> petty and T. I, 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 I'm so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping the T. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. So let's get right into it, child. First, I want to start by saying that we don't make any of these things up, we just report on it. And at this point, I'm completely speechless with these stories and new developments. Bang. So where should we start? Okay, let's do Krishan. So basically, long story short, for those who may not have known, Blueface alleges that Krishan and Offset slept together on November 10th at 4 a.m. and Offset's home at that, while Cardi was in their other home with their kids, Mamiana. I was home with my kid, Mamiana. Money, my business, I'm a bother. And keep in mind that this is not the first time that Offset is accused of bringing women to the same crib to cheat, okay? But yeah, so Blueface is so adamant about it to the point that him and Offset basically have real life beef now, low key, high key behind it, but more so because it embarrasses Cardi than the actual accusation itself. Listen, you want to talk about Offset, right? Listen, yeah, all, yeah, all that came out. And guess what? Offset got mad about his wife. He made some threats, and we had somebody go tap his shoulder in Miami a couple days ago and let him know he's touchable. And he won't make another threat again. And we just got a tip from an insider as to why he's so sure. And simply put, Blueface has GPS trackers on Krishan, allegedly. That's crazy. He secretly has one installed on her phone and another one put under her vehicle. Hence why he always knows where she's at, at what hours of night, and when to pop up on her. Like when he popped up in the middle of the night to take their son at 4 a.m. Crazy. My son ain't got no parent at 4 in the morning. Nobody want to watch him. She got Marsh. She got Marsh watching the baby at four in the morning so she could what? Get some <laughs> Do a verse, fucking nigga. Let me get in here, bro. All this so you could do a verse, suck some <laughs> You a boot, bitch. My son ain't got no parent. Four in the morning. Stopping us. Because she want to be a, a, a bad parent to a bad parent. And hence why he knows her location on November 10 at 4 a.m. as well. Damn, what's up with these 4 a.m.s? But yeah, even though it's a confirmed fact, not an allegation that Offset and Krishan were at the same French Montana party that day. <laughs> after it, her GPS allegedly traveled to Offset's LA home. And when she was there, Blueface pulled some strings and found out whose location she was at. And it was allegedly Offset's home. Wow, that's crazy. We have no words. Offset definitely denied it within minutes of Blueface claiming that, you know that, his BM slept with Cardi's husband, quote unquote, and it's hard to believe that that happened, but at the same time, now we know for a fact that Offset is a whole liar out here and just be lying through his teeth. For those who missed it, he put out surveillance footage that's supposed to show that him and Jade were not partying together for his birthday or whatever, trying to clear his name, especially since it involves Cardi's whole op, you know, who she could have been locked up for, right? But yeah, in this clip, which now seems to have been altered timestamp-wise, it shows that Jade came after midnight and left at 1.40 a.m. and shows that he arrived at 4 a.m. Bro, what's up with 4 a.m.? My bad, y'all. I digress. He arrived at 4 a.m. and left at 4.09. But it's utter bullshit because, for one, in the clip that is supposed to be him showing up, we don't even see him in the clip for real. So I don't know how dumb they think the people are, but that's crazy. And for two, I had to go back to the news article because it puzzled me why they would put out fake news, right? And in it, it specifically says that Offset left the club at 5 a.m. Wow. And that's in addition to them stating that he was in the building at the same time as Jade. And that's not all, y'all. New footage has surfaced and it shows just that. In the clip, you will see Jade in the club and the DJ yelling that Offset is in the building. <laughs> Somebody come and look at this. And wasn't he saying that it wasn't his party, but they sure were singing happy birthday to him, and that alone took more than 10 minutes. So how you was only there for nine minutes? Huh? Yeah. Happy And plus, how you know what time Jane came and left anyway? Make that make sense. Like, how'd you figure that the so-called surveillance would have showed that she left hours before you showed up? The math ain't mathin' and the lies don't make sense. 
that's that y'all but here's the most explosive part so at the time of offset's party right after folks peeped that they were partying in the same club jay then posted at what seemed like a pointless clip at the time which lasted one second but she put the peekaboo little emoji on top of it right and honey we just knew it had to be a subliminal message in that so after this source let us know what's really up we went back to visit that clip and guess what y'all they're not gonna believe us in the clip, she was seemingly in a hotel room, and what she was trying to show, high key, low key, that nobody peeped until now, is that Offset's clothes is on the bed, allegedly. Look at this. I mean, you can see his whole outfit that he was just wearing in the club on her bed now, down to the damn chain. That's crazy. Now let's slow it down. As y'all can see, she's in the same club outfit and Offset is on the hotel bed, allegedly. And the reason why the clip is taken so fast is because the source claims that she's not allowed to post them and them creeping is strictly supposed to be on the low. Oh, and here's a video of Jade in front of that same hotel that she was just allegedly in upstairs with Offset. On of a level, these bitches is out of their league. These bitches ain't batting like me. And as y'all can see, same outfit. Hmm, I guess he really missed her, huh? And for those who were wondering, that DM that he sent her years ago saying that, I miss you for real, wasn't fake. Jay took an extra step and recorded her phone to prove it when people thought that it was fake at the time. Ciao. And now that we look back at when she posted him on October 16, it's that much more trifling because on October 11, Cardi was proudly posting what he did for her saying, thank you babe for going above and beyond for her on her birthday. Ah. So this is why you was rushing me to go downstairs and eat. <laughs> oh my good. You gotta know it's okay, you know it ain't your heart. Wow. Oh my god. This nigga, I swear to god. <laughs> wow. I love you. Thank you. Seems like it's gonna be his birthday the way I'm like. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. I don't give a fuck. I bite bitches for this man. I will bite you bitches for this man. Hear me? Bite ya. I will fucking bite ya, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I love you, smell. Mm. Thank you. I love you. Wanna go? And all that just for Jay to be posting and insinuating that she's back with him or whatever. Like, what's really going on? Like, was those really his clothes on the bed? We put them side by side so y'all be the judge. Shoot, I mean, she put the peekaboo emoji so she at least wanted someone to see it. And I'm thinking that that was Cardi. But it's like, aren't they broken up anyway? So like, at this point, living your truth. Because if y'all still messing around, like it's looking like, then trust and believe that she's going to slowly but surely make sure that everybody knows. Especially with all the clues. And the only reason that she lies about it is because you make her, allegedly. But yeah, if y'all missed the whole spiel from nine weeks ago that we reported on last week, check it on out. Oh, by the way, Cardi's get back and all of this is that it's her turn now. And she's been hitting the clubs every single night these past few days. So let's get right into it. I know that the vast majority of you have been hearing about Cardi and Offset's like 100th breakup, right? And again, seemingly it's Offset doing her dirty again. That's crazy. Now, Cardi has been dropping hints for weeks now that she is tired of basically walking on eggshells around Offset to protect his feelings, that she wants to put herself first, things like that, which did lead up to her confirming the breakup or whatever. I mean, they're married, so it would be a separation, whatever, okay? And these two get into it publicly, breakup-wise, which seems like every couple of months, which is awful being that they've only been married since 2017. They're both young, and in marriage, you expect and vow to spend the rest of your life with that person. So to only be six years in and it's this shaky, it's terrible. Like, how many times is he going to cheat? Like, huh? Like, what? And before she could even finish saying breakup, like, she was still on break. And he's out with other women publicly, which is cold, because that's still your wife, bruh. Like, do you know how painful and embarrassing that is for a woman to endure? Embarrassing. And it definitely took Cardi to her breaking point. Because you can talk to another and a mother will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that I like to... Yo, this mother really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time. When, I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He knows yesterday I could have been out, I could have been chilling, I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. 
And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been fucking feeling yourself, you jazz nigga, to your big ass album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many years that I motherfucking hope your ass. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your ass. And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I gotta tell you something, you don't take shit serious. Damn. But yeah, so the real tea on that was that it was because the girl that he was cheating on her with years ago, you know, Jade, the one who got beat up at her job over it or whatever, is back creeping with him yet again and was at his birthday party in Miami. Wow. At the time Seth was celebrating his B-Day in the club, she concurrently posted herself at what appeared to be the same damn club at the same damn time and some even claimed it was the same B-J in the background and the same background and they matched the backgrounds up. Oh wow. Keep in mind though that Jade did deny that it's true, meaning that she's saying that it's not true. And here's what she wrote. She wrote, I was out eating at a public restaurant. I was not at that weak ass party. Now leave me the F alone. Not weak ass party, but okay, cool. Even if she wiggled her way out of this one, what she really needs to explain is why eight weeks ago she was repeatedly posting offset to her stories. Clear that up, sis. Now, as it was happening, I did peep it, but I thought one of two things, like, wow, she's either doing that because she's definitely back sleeping with him on a low, which I told myself, nah, Seth wouldn't do that again, and it was one of those times where him and Cardi kind of seemed to be on good terms. And then my other thought was, okay, she's definitely trying to get under Cardi's skin at this point, that she's trolling her to get possibly beat up again, so that she could try to successfully sue her this time, right? Because a girl like that is definitely all about her money. But now that Cardi has broken down like this, you gotta know that she has some kind of receipts on him. And trust me, Cardi be having receipts, y'all. She be keeping them tucked, and then when it's time to, boom, she exposed them. Don't sleep. She could be a whole blogger. I should run a whole blog at this rate. And yes, he was seen out with a model after their breakup or whatever. But that was days before she broke down, so it wasn't for that. It had to be something stronger than that. And no, I don't think it's because of what old dude said about his baby mama's guts who he hates. That he was making up for clout is the reason either. He's a liar. I'm talking more hurtful receipts. And if I was her, yes, Jaden Offset back creeping would completely send me over the top. Because not only are you cheating on me, but to add insult to injury, it's with one of my enemies. See, now you playing in my face and acting like my life don't matter for real. And that's how I would feel, okay? With that being said, here's what Jade had posted. On October 16, she took to her stories and posted herself in red lingerie, basically naked, with an Offset song playing in the background. Very suspicious. But if that wasn't enough, she then followed that with her promoting his album for the people to go cop like she's his wife or something. Wow. It's like, why are you naked playing his music? And why are you promoting him? What's really tea? Why are you naked playing his music? And why are you promoting him? What's really tea? So that was basically a confirmation eight weeks ago from her that she's either back effing with him, whether it be physically or with his music. But it was confirmation. Now, I ain't the light is bright, but I never saw an ex side chick who got beat up for messing with that person's husband at that, took it to court and all that, only for her to be back repping and posting him again. It's the boldness for me, like what is occurring behind the scenes that made you that bold? Remember when she was bold years ago and posted a DM from Offset saying, I really miss you, something like that, it's on your screens? Which of course he denied, but now she's bolder. And I do want to say that a little birdie told us that yes, Jade is the one that got Cardi riled up and that Offset was the one that made her clear it up that same day to say that no, I was not at his party. And make it seem like she coming for him, dissing him, talking about some weak ass party to make it seem more real. Mm. But as y'all can see, that also wasn't enough because people don't believe them and obviously neither does Cardi. Like why are we going through this? I don't want to see this. People don't believe them, and obviously neither does Cardi. So guess what? The birdie said that this time, he's making Jade go back to clear it up again, more officially this time, on video, which is coming soon, to convince Cardi that no, nothing went down. Yikes. But yeah, that's all folks. But if you got more time today, check out the rest of the reactions from the people eight weeks ago when Jade had the balls to post Offset twice, which makes no sense. And she didn't clear that up. Now clock that T. Clock that T. Clock that T. Clock that T.